guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about some false lashes, specifically Too Faced new false lashes. They just came out with these Better Than Sex lashes. They sent them over to me and I thought, you know what? I should share that with my subscribers because these are pretty dang cool, you guys. I am a huge fan of their Better Than Sex mascara. So these are their Better Than Sex lashes. So hopefully, you know, since they're the same line, I'll love them just as much as the mascara. So there's four different styles. There's everything from a natural lash to a more dramatic lash. There is Drama Queen, which definitely has that flair, that volume, a little bit more length. There's Natural Flirt, which I think are probably my favorite. This is more of like the lash style that I typically go for. I think these are the ones I'm gonna put on my lashes today. Drama Queen, as you can see, is a little bit more full and voluminous and slightly longer, but I think I like these two the best. I think those two are my favorites. There's also Doll Eyes, which has more of like the cluster lashes. Definitely a time and place for lashes like this. They're super, super pretty. You could also, if you really wanted to, like cut the clusters apart and put them on that way so it would be a little bit easier to apply. And the last one is called Sex Kitten. So these are kind of similar to Natural Flirt, but they have probably a, li yeah, a little bit more length, a little bit more of a clustered effect, kind of like doll eyes, and then they flare out at the end. So I have a feeling I'll really like these. I definitely not like all of them, but I think today we're gonna try Natural Flirt. So just a little bit about the lashes off of the website really quick. So these lashes are made with 3D faux mink and have an advanced thin flex band that easily molds to your eye shape and makes it easy to apply. They are weightless to provide comfort for long wear, designed to be reusable, and multi-dimensional to blend with your natural lashes. They are vegan and cruelty free. So I like the fact that the band is supposed to be nice and flexible. I have a lot of bands, especially more drugstore lashes where the, the band is thick um, and it's not flexible, so it makes them really hard to put on. And then inevitably, I always have like the center of my lashes, it's kind of like my, la my lids are a little bit more like dome, almond-shaped eye eyelids, and so they curve, you know, like this instead of going flat like this, and so here's my eyelash, or my eyelid, right? And then the lash will just like stick straight out, <laughs> and then they look a little bit funny. So I like the fact that these are supposed to be more flexible. Okay, so I've already fully done my entire makeup look today, mascara and everything, so this is a little bit different. If I knew I was gonna be wearing falsies today, I probably wouldn't have applied as much mascara as I did, and I also wouldn't have curled my lashes like I did ahead of time, but I think, let's go with, let's go with Natural Flirt since these are my favorite. I'm gonna pre-measure them just to see if I need to cut any bit off. I usually do. Hmm. I probably could get away with not cutting any off. They kind of fit my lash line like perfectly from inner to outer, but I think I'm gonna cut. No, maybe I won't. Hold on. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna leave them and not cut any off which is very strange for me the only other lashes I don't have to cut are Ardell lashes I feel like Ardell lashes fit my lash line perfectly every other lash I have to cut because they're too long I'm just gonna use my duo glue they didn't send over any lash glue so I don't think they have any like specific lash glue at least they don't yet okay I think the glue has dried enough I'm gonna pop these on. I am not a lash master by any means, you guys. Ugh, no, the glue was not dry enough because it is not sticking. Yeah, these are a little bit too long now that I actually have them like sticking to my lash line. The inner part is kind of like stabbing at like my tear duct area. And if that's happening, that's when you know your lashes are like a little bit too long. They look really, really nice. I think I got them as close to my lash line as I possibly could with, without. <laughs> Huge difference, right? Okay, so here's what the lashes look like without any kind of liner or anything like that on top of them. So I really do like the look of them a lot. I feel like it's that perfect balance, at least the natural flirt of like not too much volume, not too much craziness, but definitely that extra like oomph. They were fairly easy to put on. Um, I do think that you do need to like bend them a little bit to make them more dome shaped before you put them on your lashes. 
But I love the fact that the band is clear because then you don't necessarily need to go in with a liner. Like I'm somebody who usually puts a thin line of liquid liner on top of my lash band to kind of like camouflage it or hide it. With these, I don't necessarily feel like you have to do that because the band is so thin and it's clear. Um, I think I'm gonna go in and do that anyways, but I definitely wanted to show you guys what they look like before I do that. So my little trick that I like to do after I put my line of liquid liner on top is I like to take a selfie looking down so I can make sure that my eyeliner line is straight and there isn't any obvious like mess ups or anything like that and it looks like I did a pretty good job. So overall, I think I really do like these lashes. They retail for $17, which is a little bit cheaper than a lot of other high-end lashes out there. I mean, some lashes can retail for up to $30 or more, just depending on if they're real mink or faux mink. Um, so I think that this is a good kind of happy balance of not too cheap but not too expensive. And I love the way they look and I love the way they feel. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Maybe you picked up a tip or a trick or two. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, of course, you know exactly where to leave them. Other than that, I will talk to you next time. Mwah.